Hello, Bees Bladers. Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day because I know I am. I'm getting ready to get in here. And from the pictures of the knife in this box, it looks like it's going to be a budget beast. I'm telling, speaking of beast, this is the CJRB Caldera in Bees Blades colors. I absolutely love this knife. I'm digging it a lot. I sometimes I forget on the opening knife that I'm carrying to tell you what it is. So I remember this time. So let's get in this box. First, I have to say thank you, channel members. Thank you subscribers and thank you all of the patrons. You guys are all freaking absolutely amazing. Thank you for your support and for what you do for the channel. And all right, so we have an empty box. This uh-oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I ordered a boat anchor. So okay, it came out of the box during shipping. Looks like uh there's not even tape on it. All right, interesting. So that's all there is to the box. Here's the knife. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my gosh. Holy cow. Would you look at it? <laughs> this thing is a chunk. Whoa. Th this is the, I'm losing words here. Oh my gosh. It's the EF901. I kept seeing this and kept seeing this. And I was like, you know, that looks really interesting. Oh my goodness. Would you look at it? <laughs> Just look at it. <laughs> this thing is a beast and it's titanium. It's I'm calling it a budget titanium beast. Oh my goodness. We have some anodization going on. That's pretty cool. I'll give you a look all the way around the, the nice look at backspacer and check out that pocket clip. Okay. And it has texture. How about that? A pocket clip with texture vision. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Wow. This is a sweet looking knife. Um, this one runs, they run about, I think around 69 bucks at the time of this video's posting is what you can get these for. Wow, that, is, man, I've got to see right now how much this thing weighs. And let me wipe it off here real quick. It's definitely, definitely lubed for shipping. <laughs> All right, let's get the scale and, okay, I got to, this is, uh, whew, this is not what I'm used to. It, uh, wow, what am I going to say? It weighs more than half a pound. Um, so that would be eight ounces. I, I'm going to guess nine, maybe 10. Um, if I have to stick to a number, I'll go with nine ounces and it is 9.58 ounces. I was a half an ounce off, but and, you know, it's a little out of my normal carry range. Holy moly. Are you ready to see this blade? Pow, right in the kisser. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is freaking awesome. Oh my gosh. Let me wipe this off. Whoa, mama, look at the blade on this thing. So here's this side. Holy cow, that is sweet. I love it. And here's this side. That is a cool looking knife. I I didn't know the EF knives did titanium, but they do. And there it is. And this one is D2 blade steel. That's probably why you can get the good price point. But that is sweet. I'm wondering if we'll be able to reverse flick this. And look here, it has a it has a over travel stop. The we're right at about fifty percent lock up. Are we centered? We are dead centered. And ooh, mama, does that have a tip on it? And let's check out the finish. It has a good finish on it. Stone wash going on, nice and clean. And I've never seen this uh, logo by Ethan Growl before, or however you say their name. And Big old, big old gyms. That's some of the biggest jimping I've ever seen. I think the only ones I've seen bigger than that are on the uh, Corvid XL. Wow. But going all the way down up nice and close. And other than that little signature, there's no other billboarding and none on this side except for the D2. So I like that it's a nice clean looking blade and a little bit of texture vill villain. <laughs> so I was thinking milling. We have milling on here and it does give you some texture and it does grab your fingers. Um, you know, titanium is kind of smooth, but this definitely helps. Wow. Look at that big old pivot. Oh my goodness. It's ginormous. And then you have a big old spot for a lantern. You put a rope through that bad boy. Well, you know, it could, it could double as a boat anchor, <laughs> but nice. This, this jumping on the back feels really nice. And going on this side, just going from one end to the other. And this looks like it's going to be all T8, so I'll double check here in just a second. I like the milling. It has a very clean look to it. And the finish is very uniform. I wonder if she'll cut. Get an old piece of paper out here. Oh my gosh, it is super sharp. I mean, it is super sharp. 
Wow, check that out. It has a nice edge. And, you know, look how thick. I mean, that is a thick boy. <laughs> but with it being so thick, you have all of this room for it to come down to a nice fine edge. It has really good geometry. Let's see how she does in and out of the pocket. So the pocket clips, actually, the clip works very well. There's, I don't have any problems with that in and out of the pocket. Very easy. Is it reversible? Um, no, it is not reversible. So no lefty love for the clip. Now, some of you didn't know what, when I give you the specs on my videos, they are all measured by me. I don't get them from the factory. I don't get them from websites because if you look up a knife at five different places, you'll get five different measurements. And from the beginning, I've always done my own specs. So if you want my specs for this knife, there you go. You can check it out. You can slow it down. You can zoom it in. But there are my specs for this knife. How about that? Nice and easy. And if you want to double check, and I want to double check, I have a really strong earth magnet here. Let's see. Nothing. Yeah, it's titanium. Backspacer's titanium. Pocket clip's titanium. That's very nice. Very, very nice. We'll check out the action ergos here in just a second. First, we'll do some quick size comparisons. Here's the Spyderco Tenacious and the Spyderco Manix 2. Yeah, look at that. She's a big boy. She's a big boy. Does that make any sense? Here's the Kaiser Sheepdog non-flipper and the CJRB Caldera. Caldera? Caldera? Look at that. Yeah, it's big. And I know a lot of you, when I show some knives, you're like, show me some bigger knives. Well, here you go. Here's the Kaiser Roach. Ooh, yeah, look at that. One of my favorites. It has a nice size blade on it. I mean, it's, it's not messing around. It's just heavy duty. It's chunky. And here's the Concept. Goblin XL. Yeah, look at all those blades. I love those big slicey blades. And here's two more. The CH3531. And then the Concept Corvid XL. Yeah. So there's some big ones for you. It's time for a call to action before we check out the action. If you're not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe to Bees Blades. And right next to it, hit that bell button. And right above that, hit the all button. That way you don't miss what's coming out next on the channel. Are you ready? Let's see if we can do the old push button. Pow, right in the kisser. That's pretty nice, and this has to be drop shut. Oh, yeah. You can't have a blade this big and have it not be drop shut. Wow. I mean, chunk. It is, it's coming down whether your finger's in the way or not. Oh, my goodness. Light switch action. It's quick. And how's the detent? Not the strongest detent, and it would take quite a detent to hold this much blade in. So it would be easy to... I could just about fail just about any flipper, most flippers. So... Yeah, all right. Better than I thought it would be. Yeah, it comes out even when I give it the old slow roll. Left-handed, it's good. Now, the pass-through, it doesn't have a ton of pass-through, but there's so much room in between here, and you can see how it's rounded on the inside. It gives you plenty of room, so I don't have to dig my finger. I don't have to use my fingernail. It is easy to disengage. So I'm not having a problem there. I wouldn't mind if this was chamfered a little bit more, maybe just a little bit of uh, jimping going on in there, just to make it a little more enjoyable for me, because that is one of the fun things that I personally enjoy, is the fidget factor of a knife. Besides the usefulness of it, I also like it because I'm a knife collector, and I like all the fun parts of it. So I can do the slow roll. Can I flip it open with my thumb with the thumb hole? Yes, I can. So I can use the thumb hole. Now, can I reverse flick it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, I can reverse flick it. And how about the ergos? My hand is four inches from here to here, three and a half from here to here, and from the bottom of my palm to the tip of my middle finger, seven and a quarter. How does it feel? Oh yeah, plenty of handle. If you have extra large hands, bigger than mine, you have plenty of handle left. You would you could have one of those grips where you go like this if you have the big old sausage fingers. See how much I'd have left over? So plenty of grip. There's I'm getting absolutely no hot spots. The edges are really done well. They're chamfered at the right place, so they're not sharp whatsoever. Um, I can feel the edges of the milling, but they're not sharp. They're not bad. And in the traditional traditional grip, it's comfortable. And you know, those those jimps aren't too bad. They're big enough where my, my finger, the meat of my thumb, can get down in there. Yeah. Oh, this is this is actually a pretty good slicer and a good chopper. And a lot of the blade from here up hits. If the flipper tab was a little less, then you would then you would be able to do some straight chopping. But the flipper tab is going to hit the surface before the blade does, so it's about right, just quite not quite in the middle. And this this is going to be a fun knife to use, a fun knife to have. It's definitely going to be a co conversation piece. You pull this out of your pocket, be like, uh, yeah, you want me to cut that string for you? I got you covered. <laughs> but 
yeah, I'm curious to see what you guys think about it. You know, if you want a big old chunk and blade, not every knife that we have, and I know a lot of you that watch the channel are knife collectors, and some of the knives we get are for fun. And this is a titanium knife, and what I say, it's around 60, 69 bucks, something like that. That's that's a good deal if you want a big old hunk of titanium, a D2, that's really neat looking, has an anodized clip. The clip is a nice accent. I like the back spacer as an accent. It's very comfortable, it's reasonably priced, it's, it's a fun knife, it's a big old pocket beast. I think this is a fun one to have. I'm curious what y'all think, and you know what? If you don't have an opinion on it, that's fine. Tell me what you had for breakfast. You know, do you like Pop-Tarts? I don't care, I just like it when you guys interact and you say something, plus it helps the channel, supports the channel, along with the thumbs up. If you haven't hit the thumbs up and you like my content, give me the thumbs up, or you can give it thumbs down, either way. But until I talk to you again, or see you in the chats, or see you at the live streams on Friday night, Bees Blades live at the Hive, all right, from 8.15 to 11.15 p.m. on Fridays, don't miss that. But until then, remember to live life in the present, keep a band-aid handy, and don't cut yourself.